Hey guys, what's going on? So today I have a really exciting video. So as some of you probably know, my system is kind of crap. If you don't, if you haven't seen it, um, go watch my latest time lapse video. That's not actually technically my computer right now, but it's close and like the CPU, GPU and stuff are all the same, of course. But I am super excited about this because as most of you know, upcoming soon, there is going to be a new series of Ryzen processors, Ryzen Gen 3. This is going to be on seven nanometers and it's going to have up to 12 cores, which is insane. And why I'm so excited is that I happen to get my hands on one of these processors, which is insane. I got it off of a friend um, who knows someone who works with AMD and they managed to get me one. I don't, don't ask me how. I'm not sure if it was 100% legal, but I got one now. And I am super excited. It's right there on the test bench. Test bench, we have our Ryzen 7 um, 3700X and a Noctua NHD 14. We have 16 gigs of RAM. And we have a GTX 1060 and we have a 40 gig SSD. So that is our test setup. Why don't I come and show you guys everything else that there is so over here we have as you can see um, the crosshair um, I think 8 extreme and obviously this is not the final product there's no RGB it's not a final product it doesn't have any RGB but this isn't the final product this is just an engineering sample motherboard um, and we have over here just one of the features we have dual dim.2 slots right here as you can see it looks almost like um, six channel memory, but it is in fact two DIM.2 slots, which means you can have two DIM.2 modules. I don't have any M.2s on me at the moment, but you could put up to four M.2s right here. They have two more on the board as well, so you can have like six M.2s, which is crazy. Uh, that would be a lot of money, and as you can see over here, we got the X570 on that like beautiful sexy IO cover. We got this huge heatsink down here where you would normally find like a north bridge on older motherboards. But this is just in fact a huge heatsink for all that cooling because this motherboard is so awesome and overkill. Sorry for the like the crappy power supply and well the GPU is not that crappy compared to the other stuff that I have but obviously it's nothing compared to this amazing CPU. And so now we are going to do a Cinebench run. So we, yes, this is 100% legit. As you can see we have the wire right here. This wire coming right at the GPU and it is going in right into the monitor. So yes, we have our synth As you can see right here, we have the specs of this processor. This is the AMD Ryzen 3 3700 x Right with 10 cores and 20 threads running at 3.9 gigahertz which isn't the fastest ever but for 10 cores 20 threads it is pretty good and is rumored to be around a similar price to the um 2700x so if it is then this should be an amazing value processor all right so we are gonna go ahead and we are going to hold on let me just get that mic out of the way we are going to focus camera and then we are going to run the test we're gonna pull up our thermals as well right here we got the thermals we've obviously got um, yeah I got four more cores but I just want to make sure you guys can see everything so we've got Cinebench right here and we've got the temperatures it is only taking fractions of a second everything you know is going good growing great and now we have now finished the test, and as you can see, look at these scores right here. This scores, amazing scores. Look, as you can see, we have managed to hit a 1384 in Cinebench. That is higher than the 12-core, uh, 24-thread CPU that we have under it, which is, I believe, a Xeon, um, which is just part of the base. And then, obviously, look, it's everything like about this CPU is amazing. This is going to be the downfall of Intel, I tell you. Um, Intel is going to be ha have so much competition now. Um, honestly, people, a lot of people will think that AMD is just for like cheap, low end budget crap. But I think this is definitely going to change everybody's mind because now, like, 
they have such a huge leg up on Intel. Like, this is going to be so much bigger than the original Ryzen launch, I tell you. It is going to change things forever because Intel is not going to be able to um, get 7 nanometer this year, maybe not even next year. This is crazy, guys. And honestly, it is so amazing. So, yeah. What did you guys think of this video? Let me know in the comment section. What do you think of this new processor? Now, especially now that you've seen legitimate, real benchmarks from a reputable source. And, you know, honestly, I'm just super curious to see what you guys think. And I'm so, so thankful to my friend for providing me this engineering sample CPU and motherboard. Honestly, I can't thank him enough. And I can't thank everyone who's here watching this video um, so much. All of you are amazing. And if you enjoyed this video, maybe, you know, check out some of my other videos, even consider subscribing, and I will see you next time.